brothers and sisters, we have a lack of leadership, unfortunately. I don't mean you don't have a leader. That's not what I mean. The Prophet ﷺ said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnatu khulafa al rashidin al mahdiyin Upon you is the following of my sunnah and the sunnah of the khulafa al rashidin al mahdiyin those who rightly guided. So it means we understand from that that we have to accept the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ as it was practiced, as it was said, and as it was understood from whom? First, khulafa al rashidin then after ashab of, of the Prophet ﷺ, after that, tabi'een and atba' al tabi'een We have to accept what they understood. That's first. So let me tell you what Umar ibn Khattab said. This is an athar from Umar. He said, there is no Islam without jama'ah. This is what Umar said. No Islam without jama'ah. He didn't mean that you cannot pray. He meant that no Islam without community. Without the organized community, he said, there is no essence, presence of Islam. And then he said further, and no jama'a without an amir. You must have a leader, a commander, somebody who has the right to tell you, stand, sit, go out, come back in, wait. Somebody who you will go to with your problems, and he will give the hukum, and you cannot deny it. Somebody who resolves the problems, somebody who adjudicates, as Allah made the Prophet وسلم, hakim, He says, Fala wa rabbuka, la yu'minun in the Quran. Oh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi they cannot really believe until they accept you as a hakim. And after that, they also accept your qada. So you must have an imam, a leader, who acts for you as a judge. And when he makes qada on you, you cannot say, okay, imam, I respect your opinion. No, no. If he had some power, you would not just respect his opinion because if you went to the civil court or you go to the Supreme Court and the judge make a judgment on you, you don't say to the judge, okay, thank you, Your Honor, I respect your opinion. <laughs> so how we get this double standard? We respect the opinion of the imam, but we don't take the judgment, but we don't, but we don't respect the judges, but we take their judgment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he punishes us for that. One, there has to be jama'ah organized community under one leader. The Muslims, the best of the Muslims, should nominate someone, not just he's appointed, nominate. And after the nomination, everybody say yes. After yes, give him the power. Because Umar al-Khattab said, what did he say? And there is no Amir unless he has Amr, Imara, authority. So don't give a man the title and do not give him the pledge. Give him the title, the responsibility, and after that, give him the pledge. I'm not saying give bay'ah like he's Khalifa. That's not what I'm saying. I mean give him the allegiance. Say to him, brother, I'm going to obey you in whatever you ask me to do. Unless you order me to do something which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said I can't do because there is no obedience to a creature when it involves disobedience to Al-Khaliq.